Hello clean gardeners, cold climate gardeners, and gardeners of extremes. How are you guys doing today? If you're new around here, my name is Ashley and I'm a soil scientist. On the channel, we take that science and we apply it to all things gardening and plant care. So if you like the sounds, be sure to hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and let me know in the comments below what your favorite cactus succulent mix is and why. In today's video, we are talking about the Pro Mix Cactus Premium blah, 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 something, something. I've never opened this. I don't know what the inside of it looks like. I don't know what to expect at all. Uh, but if you watched my Miracle Grow Cactus Succulent Mix video, I'm gonna need a drink for this video, so yeah. Then you know I promised you guys that if my video got to 50 likes, I would do a review on the Pro Mix Mix. And we're definitely way past 50 likes at this point, but thanks to the world out there, um, getting this was very difficult. So yeah, it's here now. And so I'm ready to do this for you. Now, to start off with, the Miracle Grow mix I was less than impressed with, and uh, I didn't love it. And actually, I really hated it. And I did quite a bit of amending to it too to make it work for me because it just simply is not going to work for an indoor cacti succulent mix, nothing. Now, if you were in San Diego or somewhere hotter, or if it were an outdoor setting in the summer, in a Canadian summer, I do think it would be fine. But in an indoor setting where you're going to be bringing these inside, it is not going to make the cut. So I'll tell you right off the bat what I will not be happy with if I open this bag and it's not in there, is some sort of coarse material, and I'm not talking perlite, um, I'm talking like a wood chip, wood bark, um, something very porous and large. If that is not in here, I will right away tell you I do not like it because that is something that needs to be in a soil mix um, for any sort of indoor cacti succulent type scenario, especially for when they go dormant. Now, Promix, they tout quite a bit. Like, if you read on the back, they've got quite the uh, claims to fame on this thing. So, yeah, satisfaction guaranteed. You don't want to try that with me. Not that I'm going to uh, get rid of it, but if uh, if you guys like, I let me know in the comments. I have a giant aloe vera plant with a lot of uh, pups on it that need to definitely, uh, it needs to be taken care of. It needs to be repotted. It's been years uh, and it's huge and I'm really not looking forward to repotting it, but I will use this um, to repot because why not? I can fix it. I can amend it to make it better for me, but uh, let me know in the comments below if we can get this video to 100 likes, then I will for sure show you some footage of exactly what I'm going to do there and how I'm going to amend this for an aloe vera plant that is coming inside and it comes inside every year. So without further ado, let's open this baby up. You guys should let me know if you're, so Promix is big on this now. Um, their big thing is this mycorrhizae mycoactive and um, they claim it hypotary technology based on an exclusive combination of high performance active ingredients with other special specific properties as the stimul such as the stimulation of planet blah, blah blah so what I think the mycoactive is is not proprietary I think it's uh, mycorrhizae uh, bacterium and uh, I'll show you what that does it if you want a video on that let me know but that is an additive you can put in your soil and you don't have to buy pro mix to get it you can actually just get it regularly but I'm thinking mycoactive I can do some research on it if you guys want that video but I'm pretty sure that's what it is it's a type of bacteria or yeah bacteria is it fungi mycorrhizae I think it's bacteria and uh, what it does is it, uh, it, it's actually a really cool element. I'm going to leave you with a teaser what this, what that does, but it's actually pretty cool stuff. Um, and it, uh, I did research on it actually uh, for phosphate, phosphate solubilizing mycorrhizae bacteria. Direct impact on different types of brassica crops. 
it's actually kind of cool so i didn't do a video on that for you guys if you want because i'm pretty sure that's what they are talking about when they say this microactive but i have to do research i don't know if that's what promix is talking about i think it is but i don't know so let's open this thing up see what's inside i'll try not to talk while i'm opening it because i know you're not gonna okay so i know that did i cut that part of the video out maybe i should i know that looked weird but i do smell soil i smell soil fresh out of the bags but i also smell my soil out of my pots when i go to repot or i go to revitalize the soil because the smell actually <laughs> tells me <laughs> the state of the soil is that weird it's not weird it actually works um don't do this but there are soil scientists who actually will taste soil do not do it there's there can be seriously bad stuff inside soil so do not do this but there are soil scientists that do eat like they put the tiniest bit on their tongue and they kind of rub it against their teeth and it all it tells them is the components within the soil so don't do it i'm just telling you a story okay so uh first off the smell I can't believe I'm doing this on camera. Oh, don't make fun of me. So, um, they claim that there is organic matter in here. And there might be. Um, but it's not degraded. So it means that there's not a ton. So there is organic material in there. It smells very fresh and airy which is how it should smell. Um, it doesn't smell rotted and it doesn't smell acidic or putrid. And that is a smell that soil can have, um, but it smells, I don't wanna say dead, but it smells kind of dead. Like a soil should have an earthy scent to it and this doesn't have it. So, and that doesn't mean anything. Um, what it does mean is you're probably gonna wanna put a slow release fertilizer in there, but it is for succulents and cacti. They're not heavy feeders, um, but it's something to maybe think about is putting some sort of slow release fertilizer in the mix. So, I'll show you guys. Oh, I'm gonna make a mess. That is what it looks like. And uh, it looks pretty much identical to Miracle Grow. Uh, so there's that. But, so there's like the tiniest amount of sand in here. Uh, not nearly enough. I would probably like to this whole bag, I would probably, so the bag fills up to here, here with a uh, potting soil mix. I'd probably add the rest. I'd probably put sand in depending depending so i always say the pot is a part of the profile so if you're using a terracotta pot i would leave this soil i wouldn't add anything to it if you're using a plastic pot or a ceramic pot you may want to think of putting more sand in it for example um so yeah that's definitely something to look at uh, there's not a lot of perlite i'd probably put more perlite in it and um i mean they do have wood chips in it not much but there is like a twig material in this um but again it's not enough nah i don't know it's potting soil i mean if this costs more than a bale or a regular thing of potting soil, I wouldn't go for this. I would just get the regular potting soil and amend it. This, you're still gonna have to amend. You're still gonna have to put the wood chips in. You're gonna have to add some sand. You're gonna have to, you definitely gonna have to add perlite. There's not enough in there. That's just not enough. So yeah, you're gonna have to add to it. Um, you're gonna have to add some fertilizer probably too. I just don't smell. I just don't smell it. Like I should smell dirt. Like I should smell earth. Let me know in the comments below if you know what I'm talking about, but I should smell it. I should smell earth. 
you go into a field and dig up dirt out of a field that's been untouched you can just it smells like dirt and this just don't smell no sm okay so no smell is better than an acid smell so the fact that it has no smell is better than it smelling putrid or acidic it means it's fresh soil i just don't know how active this is and technically it's soilless because the only thing that in it is in it that is soil is sand and the rest is peat moss so it's probably not as alive as dirt it's not going to be it's a potting soil mix so there's that uh, to keep in mind too but even my potting soil mix that i make and i actually amend it every year i do it in a giant swimming pool it smells like earth by the time i'm done with it uh, initially it doesn't smell like earth it smells like this it smells kind of like nothing so uh yeah what i recommend it i mean it's a good potting soil it i wouldn't put a cactus or a succulent in it and be like yeah it's great it's good to go i would probably amend it still so i would do wood chips i would do sand i would do perlite and yeah i still need to do the review of coconut choir versus peat moss that's interesting and uh, if we're talking cacti and succulent i've got some comments about the difference between peat moss and coconut coir together to make that it's actually pretty stunning i will say that so i do need to make that video for you guys um because i i mean yeah, I've got some things to say. I definitely do. It's really changed how I think of uh, soil as medium. That's for sure that coconut coir has. So uh, some things happened with it that I'm less than impressed with and that peat moss definitely beats it out in. Uh, but there's other things that peat moss, you know, doesn't uh, doesn't take the cake on it. It's actually coconut coir that takes the cake on it. So I do have to do that video. Um, yeah. I mean, if we're doing apples to apples, succulent mix to succulent mix, they're the same thing. There's no, no real difference here, unfortunately. And like people told me that this one would be better. That's why I said I was gonna do it. They told me like, oh, this one's so much better. I'll use it with my aloe plant, my giant aloe plant. I'll pot it up with that. Um, I'm still gonna amend it the same way I did my miracle Grow. And uh, I'll let you know if there's any huge differences, but I just don't see it um, from what I can tell. It's very basic. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below if there is any other potting soils you want me to look at and review and kind of tell you about and uh, specifically what you want to plant in them just because it gives me a better idea of what to tell you in regards to amending or changing it. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.